Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical Lens. Welcome back to another episode of Sea Salt Snippets. Today for you guys, we have some spicy topics to talk about, so let's just dive straight into it. So first off for today, it would seem like Sephiroth is finally getting teased for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Very recently, some Kingdom Hearts Union Cross advertisements have since appeared in Taiwan for whatever reason. And as you guys can see from these images, there are Kingdom Hearts Union Cross banners for advertisement absolutely all over the place. You guys can see some medals of Bambi, Stitch, Vivi right here, the 101 Dalmatians. But more interestingly, on this top banner right here, you guys will see both Cloud and Sephiroth. Now, of course, we know that Cloud appears within the Colosseum within Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, but when looking towards Sephiroth, he is actually yet to appear in the game. We, of course, have medals containing his renders and artworks, but in terms of actually seeing his character appear within the story of Union Cross, or even appear within the Colosseum for a cup or a special event, this is yet to happen. So it would seem like at some point soon, the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross will finally be introducing Sephiroth, and this will most likely hit the Japanese version first. As most of you guys know, Sephiroth has always been a secret boss in the mainline titles for Kingdom Hearts, and he's always been known as that extra hard, extra strong enemy. Unfortunately, when the final mix versions of both Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 came out, he kind of became a less feared secret boss, but still, he's always been known as that super strong character. A lot of people have been recently speculating that Square Enix might actually create a platinum match or a platinum cup for the Colosseum within Union Cross containing Sephiroth right at the end. He might even be involved in some sort of a high score challenge, or perhaps he might even become a raid boss for a special event, considering the fact that he will most likely have a large, large HP pool. Most likely with like 800 plus HP bars. I'm, I'm not even joking guys, expect it. This is Kingdom Hearts Union Cross we're talking about. Next up, it would seem like Final Fantasy XV is going to be getting a complete edition which will include the base game as as well as all of its DLC. This is something that usually happens with games these days, but however, ESRB has recently rated a Final Fantasy XV Royal Edition, and unfortunately on the actual page itself, it doesn't really go over anything to do with the Royal Edition or what the Royal Edition might include. Rather, it's just kind of talking about the rating summary. However, though, we can probably assume that the Royal Edition of Final Fantasy XV will be an edition where it contains the base game along with Episode Prompto, Episode Gladio, Episode Ignis, most likely the Final Fantasy Comrades multiplayer expansion, and all of the other extra smaller item and equipment DLC packs. We also know that Square Enix do have plans to release more DLC episodes throughout 2018, one in particular being Episode Arden, and one possibly being Episode Luna. So what I'm kind of wondering as of right now is, will they be releasing Final Fantasy XV Royal Edition before the release of the 2018 DLC episodes? Or will the Royal Edition release sometime after those DLC episodes, with the Royal Edition will include all of the 2017 DLC, being that of Episode Prompto, Gladio, and Ignis, but on top of that, also including the 2018 DLC episodes. All around, though, I think this is something most of us were expecting to happen at some point anyway, just considering that Final Fantasy XV does contain a decent amount of DLC, and that for games these days, they usually do this. As of right now, Square Enix hasn't actually made any sort of an official announcement, but with the ESRB actually rating this game very recently, I would say over the course of the next two or three three months, we'll probably see an official announcement from Square Enix. And last up for today, I have a small little update when looking towards the whole PHI from Surge and the Kingdom Hearts 3 music thingamajingy that is currently going on as of right now. In case you guys have been living under a rock for the past week, I will give you guys a really quick recap. So last week, a DJ over in Japan known as PHI from Surge made a statement on Twitter saying that he is currently making and remixing some music for a certain world in Kingdom Kingdom Hearts 3. And as of right now, this is all we currently know about it, but it would seem like a different composer aside from Yoko Shimomura will be making music for KH3, but in his case, for a specific world. Now we've been talking about this quite a bit over the past week, mainly because this is the first slice of news to do with Kingdom Hearts 3 for 2018, and on top of that, I mean it's some really, really interesting and quite exciting stuff considering that this guy is making techno slash EDM based music. Now as you guys know, in the videos that I've used to talk about this information, towards PHI, I've actually used examples of his music. I've actually used two tracks in particular from him, known as Moonlight as well as Boss.
Both of these pieces of music were actually over on PHI's YouTube channel, and this is exactly how I obtained it. Well, interestingly enough, very recently, PHI from Surge has actually since removed both Moonlight as well as Boss from his YouTube channel. Boss can actually still be found on PHI's SoundCloud, however, the Moonlight has also been removed from PHI's SoundCloud as well. It's interesting to know that these are the two tracks that I was using in the Kingdom Hearts 3 news videos talking about this exact piece of news, and so why he would remove exactly those two pieces of music from his YouTube channel is a bit of a mystery. Now, I wouldn't say this is a case of those two tracks actually being pieces that he's created for Kingdom Hearts 3. Rather, he could be sampling both Boss and Moonlight for the project that he is working on for KH3. It is a tiny bit suspicious that he would announce the news and information of him working on Kingdom Hearts 3 and then a few days later proceed to remove two specific tracks. But other guys, that is all for today's news and information. In the comment section down below, let me know your guys' thoughts, especially when looking towards the PHI stuff. I definitely feel like there is something a little bit mysterious going on here, but we're just going to have to see where this unfolds. Other guys, I've been cynical. Hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hit him on a page, you'll be coming through stain. Go dead my mouth when you suckers be bluffing. Milk crank, gaming up your bitch though. Catch me in the back, playing Super Nintendo.